Hello guys, Mr. Fluffy Pants here, and today guys got two new LEGO Marvel sets releasing later this year. The first one is the Sanctuary 2 in-game final battle, which uh, will be 30 or 40 ducks. I'm not really sure which uh, price it is. I think it want to say 30. Uh, if so, 30 is a great price, but it'll be released in October, and you can actually pre-order it now. But um, yeah, this set's pretty cool. You know, you get two exclusive minifigures, which is the minifigure version of Thanos from Endgame and then Captain Marvel from Endgame. And, you know, when they first, you know, said, you know, the $30, there's going to be a $30 Sanctuary tour, I thought they were out of their mind. And honestly, though, this set looks really, really cool. Uh, You know, I love the battery guns on the on the very top. You know, you got six such shooters. But um, I forgot what picture I saw, but I think it was the back of the box art. Um, it actually explains the size of the sets because it's like, you know, it coming out of the... Uh, the time travel por uh, quantum portal, you know, where it's uh, shrinking and it comes back big, which honestly is actually a pretty smart way of explaining it. But honestly, though, this set looks really good for its size. You can actually even fit minifigure Thanos inside of it, which I think is pretty cool. You know, you got some control panels and all that, but he even has like his uh, little double sided sword. And, you know, you get a little mini Infinity Gauntlet, which is just one of those golden uh, power glove pieces or whatnot. But the Captain Marvel minifigure, yeah, she looks pretty cool with her uh, printing and all that. Just she really needs some leg printing. But um, the Iron Man one is the same one we got in the in-game final battle, but I'm not sure if it's the same one, uh, you know, both of those minifigures are the same one from the original in-game set, because, I don't know, the leg printing looks a little bit different to me, but we'll just have to see, but, uh, this is definitely a, a very, uh, you know, excited pickup for me, because, honestly, I just love the look of this with the red and everything, but, and then let's go on, on to the next set that was revealed. And then the What If set got revealed, which is set number 76194. Tony Stark's Sakarian Iron Man armor, which I guess is pretty much his Hulk buster. But, um, you know, this is from the What If Disney Plus show, which this will be $35, I believe. But, um, yeah, this set looks very interesting. It's um, so pretty much, you know, it's kind of like the uh, What If episode. If instead of, uh, you know, Thor getting stuck on Sakar, it's uh, Tony, which I think is pretty cool. Um, you know, this set, though, oh, um, you know, it looks cool and all. Uh, I just think this definitely looks more closely akin to, like, the uh the original age of ultron hulk buster which you know is a little rough uh but you know the colors and everything is pretty cool i don't know if i really like the overall design of the hulk buster but um you get some pretty cool minifigures you get tony stark which uh looks exclusive you get valkyrie which uh you know you could definitely use as an mcu one which you know technically it is in the mcu but like you know it's animated so you know it's kind of got that animation uh style to it or whatnot but i can definitely see you just using it as a mcu version of valkyrie and then you get the watcher which is very cool uh to get in minifigure form which you know he's in the box art which that looks pretty cool and actually on the bag it shows that you can rebuild it as a car which i don't know if that's gonna be in the show or whatnot but yeah i guess that's kind of a cool feature i just hope that it didn't compromise the actual hulk buster set uh like you know actual um build itself for that feature but um you know this set looks pretty cool i don't know if i'll pick it up uh probably for just the minifigures or you know if the actual you know the armor is pretty cool i might you know pick it up just for that but we'll definitely have to see okay and that is the two new lego marvel sets and that should be pretty much it for the year unless i'm missing something uh, other than like the uh cmf series and the advent calendar but uh you know sanctuary 2 is definitely a must buy pickup for me i lo just love that way that looks and it came out a lot better than i expected it to the what if set um um, I know it was rumored it was supposed to be the Captain America, like, Iron Man suit, and it comes with Captain Britain. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be another set. I know there those minifigures are supposed to be coming in the CMS series, but if that is another set, that's kind of interesting. But I'm pretty sure this is the only What If set we're supposed to be getting this year, which is so that's a complete surprise, and that was not uh, the rumor was actually wrong um, this time, which is kind of interesting. But, you know, that Watcher minifigure looks pretty cool, but I, I don't really know if I'll pick it up. The Hulkbuster armor looks kind of chunky from some angles, like the box art. I don't think does it any favors but you know like the actual product images make it look better so i don't know we'll just have to see but um anyway guys let me know what you guys think about these sets down below are you gonna pick up any of these but check out my twitter and discord link in the description like and subscribe for more check out some other videos and i'll see you guys later bye